Three, two, two one. Hi guys, so today we're here to have a great conversation with a wonderful person. So let's give a warm welcome to Satish. Hi. Hey. So could you tell us a little about yourself and what brought you to Mongolia as an exchange teacher? Yeah, surely. And uh, I'm happy to join you and uh, thank you for uh, giving this opportunity to talk with you. And uh, I'm Satish Kusparaj from uh, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is uh, in, uh, located in uh, Indian Ocean. Uh, we call that uh, Pearl of Indian Ocean. And uh, our country is uh, uh, very green and also the surrounded by beaches. And I'm 35 years old and I'm also working at Bookbridge uh, at uh, Bandaravela Learning Center. And I joined Bookbridge uh, 2016. And from onwards, I'm working in, still now uh, in Bookbridge. And uh, this is a great experience for me. And what I uh, wanted to visit uh, Mongolia again is uh, like uh, Mongolia uh, UNAS Learning Center is first learning center in, um, uh, for Bookbridge. Uh, because of that, uh, we impress uh, about UNAS and UNAS education system and how she teach, all those things. And when I inspire, I wanted to see again, and uh, that's why I need to uh, exchange here. And also, I would like to uh, share my experience and also the knowledge. And, and uh, even I wanted to grab something uh, from uh, Mongolia in the learning center as well. So how does it feel like visiting and teaching in Mongolia? Are you enjoying your stay here? Yeah, exactly. I'm uh, really happy and also uh, hit my honor to uh, share my uh, knowledge and also uh, grabbing some knowledge from here because uh, Una is the best teacher because she, don't, uh, she is our senior in her book which also the uh, senior of uh, teaching. And uh, also I'm happy to share my uh, knowledge about in uh, uh, technology and I'm happy to share because all the students are very enthusiastic and also they are very happy to learn and uh, that is uh, make me happy here. So um, have you had any memorable experience here? Yeah, actually I have a lot of uh, memorable things here but uh, we don't have time to share all those things and yeah. I can uh, just tell one thing uh, yesterday I uh, um, got a chance to eat uh, Mongolian traditional food it's like uh, uh, I think organ organ meat and organ meat and uh, I, I never try all the things in uh, in my life. That is the first time. It's uh, a different dish and there is a unforgettable uh, memory for me. So um, you said you like you came here in uh, 2019, right? So, uh, what have you noticed as the biggest change in Mongolia, like whether in education, society, or in the daily life? Yeah, actually, a lot of a uh, lot of things changed because when I when I come uh, in 2019, uh, it was a little it's uh, more developing, and now many things are developed, and also when I reach uh, our kid. And in 2019, most of the people uh, don't speak English and uh, we struggle a lot in the, in the shops even. And now I can see the big changes in education is uh, most of the them uh, they can come in the English and that is uh, really a big development uh, for here. Uh, and also the uh, so many buildings and uh, yeah, its development is very nice and roads are very uh, perfect they made and those are the developments I can see and the changes. Welcome back guys and now we will ask Satish about technology and its impact on the future. So like how do you think about the rise of an AI and its advantages and disadvantages? Yeah. 
that's uh, like uh, yeah i can uh, share and ai is uh, changing the world and uh, make uh, task easier and faster than human right mm -hmm. and uh, also it's help uh, many like uh, finance and uh, healthcare and also some machineries um, right to uh, make their work solve the problems uh, anyways uh, we have to use be carefully about that we have uh, some negative as well uh, negatives are but uh, we have uh, many people worried about uh, they miss the jobs uh, because of AI and uh, also uh, we have uh, the privacy issues and uh, therefore we need to uh, very careful to use AI uh, make us uh, uh, careful uh, make us our privacy uh, to keep okay? How do you think AI will impact on integration in the future of learning? Yeah, AI is uh, very helpful for students and I could say uh, for learning it's very helpful but if you're solving the problems it's uh, for unfair for the education because uh, you all know the we need to train ourselves first otherwise if you use AI to solve the problems uh, it will uh, effect for brain to make it lazy right and uh, uh, really uh, in the fast world we need to uh, we need AI to uh, move forward uh, with others but we have some uh, disadvantages of that therefore we need to uh, concern about that because uh, uh, I can see uh, like it's my personal advice it's like we have uh, to learn from grade 1 to 12 it's we are developing our brain uh, right and for that we are giving some exercise to brain if you uh, if we find ai and do all those things and uh, solve the problems uh, our brain will be get uh, lazy then uh, it won't help help to move forward and after right and also uh, I should use help to students learn but they still need to develop their uh, skills and training they own so thank you and our interview is coming to an end and is there anything you want to say for watchers yeah and uh, it's my honor to uh, participate uh, for the exchange program and also this program and I'm happy to meet you both and uh, I'm uh, uh, really grateful to have such a kind of uh, people here in Mongolia and yeah and uh, it's my wishes to uh, wish you all the best for your future education thank you so much so thank you for coming to our, in our interview and here's our talk back which was made by Team students and I'm very really grateful to give it to you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, and uh, I'm really grateful to having such a kind of uh, things from uh, students. Okay. Thank you. So thank you guys for watching and bye.